Hi everybody and welcome back to Nelly and Ruth Designs. Uh, we're going to do another really fun um, crossword puzzle challenge today. And I thought, seeing that Halloween is, I guess, just this weekend, um, this is the last week of October, um, it would be fun to do a little Halloween spread. Um, so this is week 20. I can't believe that I've been doing these um, puzzles for 20 weeks. It just, I don't know where the time has gone. So I'd love to have you join in if you're new to my channel. I have a whole bunch of these you could go back. There is a playlist um, and you can take a look at them. I'm using the large um, crossword puzzle, lar large print. Um, this, I believe I got it few years back at Barnes and Noble for $7.98 and I was going to do some other things with it and I never got around to it so I thought this would be fun to make a little little journal um, with this puzzle book. If you don't have a crossword puzzle book you can print a crossword puzzle out online and you can put it in your own book or however you want to do it. If you're this would be a really cute idea too if you're doing um, scrapbooking. Um, you could um, do your little messages or what you want to say in the crossword and then you could collage around it and then add your photos. So there are no prompts. Uh, you make them up. You make your title or theme or prompts that you want to, your message that you want to put in here and that's that's the only requirement. And the only other requirement is to use what you have. Don't go buy a new kit. You don't need a new digital kit to do this. Use what you have. Um, use it up. So this is the page um, this week that I've chosen, and I've already chosen my my vintage gals here. You know that I use the uh, vintage paper dolls from sewing patterns and sewing books. So I wanted I chose her because she's in a, a black dress, and that's pretty appropriate for Halloween. And then I don't know this. I thought this would be fun. I chose this little girl. She has a a doll's head. Looks like she pulled apart her doll, and it almost looks like a, a clown or Pinocchio. It has a large nose and a hat. I don't know where the body is. Um, so she she's carrying that around, and I think she's looking at it. Oh, actually, it looks like a puppet. Now I've got it. She has a it's a puppet, and she has that on her hand. So I thought that would be cute um, for the other Halloween image. I just saw that little little puppet. Um, so those are the two that I'm using, and I'm going to pull my, because I want to take a little bit more of the white off here, I think, of the gal, and I want to cut around her a little bit more, cut that puppet out. Um, and then the other items that I've pulled are these little fun pieces of ephemera. I don't know if I'm going to use that. I'm going to write spooky fun in here, but I've got a couple pumpkins. I have a hat for my gal. I have a trick-or-treat, and then I have a um, bat. Now, these I pull, and I've had people ask me before. These are the Julie Nutting um, packs. They come in the month, so it's like January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. This is September, October. And you get all these fun little pieces of ephemera in here, and you can see on the back what you get. Um, I think I ordered these from uh, scrapbooking.com, and you might still be able to get them. I've had these for quite some time. I don't see a date on the back anywhere, but I've had these for quite a few years, and they are fun. Um, see, it says coordinates with planner, paper, pad. Um, these are quite fun to use. So I've pulled some little items from there. Then I have this old um, piece. It's the um, the cardstock, the heavy cardstock, and I really like these. So I have some of these left over. I might incorporate those, and I do want to incorporate um, this 31 here. I might put a paper behind that. And then this little frame. I want to do a little collaging here, and I want to make a nice pocket over on the left-hand side, and actually a place where I could put a photo. 
Um, and then I cut, I have this retro um, paper. This came from a pack and it's Echo Park. It's the Trick or Treat by Stephen Duncan. And I just love this. I thought this, this just reminds me of all the old Halloween masks that, um, I mean, if you're in your 60s and 70s, you will definitely remember our old Halloween costumes that came in a box and you just slipped on this silky um, costume. It was just like a little shirt, long shirt. And then you got these masks with it. Um, and you just put them on the front of your face and attach them and out the door you went. So I thought I would put that over on this side. So I'm going to do the left-hand side first. Um, so we're going to cut this down. And you'd think that I would know the measurements by now, but I can never remember. There's so many things that I work on that require measurements, and I just I don't remember. So this is nine, nine by what? Say nine by six and a half. So we'll do, I want to have a little border. So I'm going to start with, um, maybe I'll do eight, eight and three quarters. Let's do eight and three quarters. So there's eight, eight and a half, nine. We'll go to here. All right, so that's good right there. And then I'm just going to eyeball this. And what did I say? Maybe I won't eyeball it. Um, six and a half. So maybe we'll do six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. I'll do a little bit. Just shy of six and a half. All right, so that's good there. All right, so we have that. And we'll get that down. All right. I um, guess I will use my art glitter glue. And I hope everybody is having, I hope you all had a good week so far. Um, I'm making this video early. It's Monday, and I like to get these made early. And get them up because I don't I really don't know what my week is gonna bring I think what I'm gonna do here as well is I'm gonna put a little bit of washi tape maybe on the top after maybe some polka dot black washi tape with polka dot on it my boys and um, my daughter-in-law, they went to a little Halloween party last weekend. And um, my son dressed up as an anime character. Oh my gosh, he did the best job. When his brother saw him, he's like, oh my gosh, Pat, you look just like the character. But he had a blonde wig. He went to he went to the gal that cuts our hair, and she cut it and trimmed it for him and styled it, and um, it was really cool. So they had a little bit of fun with their friends. So I want to get these girls over here, and then we can go back and work on this. Um, I do want to get something, I think, underneath them. Now, I had some scraps. Oh, here it is. I have a black. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, these are Halloween party. Oh, these are just, I don't need to use any of these. So maybe I will use a little bit of this, or maybe I'll, well, that's a little shy to make a pocket. Um, but I could put some little bit of washi tape there. Oh, let's see here. I also have these. Um, 
might be fun to put one of these on this side. That haunted house is kind of cute. I should get my wording in here first, but I think I will have enough. I think this is cute. I'm going to cut this out. Um, there we go. This is cute too, though. I don't. I like her, but I don't want to have her um, competing with my gals there. I'm gonna cut both of these out. see what we can do. I'm waiting for my I'm waiting for a couple phone calls. So if my phone rings, I'm sorry um, that it's interrupting this, but I'm gonna have to take it. And I'm waiting for two people to come today. I'm waiting for my septic guy to come. I I went and had my tanks pumped last week and they've got to come back and put a collar on and a lid because the one septic, I have two septics on my property because I have two places. I've got the kids apartment house, our carriage house, they live above that and then we have our main house um, and the septic out and back that was my that was last Thursday's <laughs> this past Thursday's um, um, project all morning um, we had to locate the septic and I got my plans out my blueprints and I looked at them and it said the septic was in one area and actually it wasn't it was in another area and oh my gosh it took an hour and a half to find it and then when they dug it out it was like three feet down below grade. And I'm like, what the heck? So I told my septic guy, I'm like, you can't be digging that out every time. So we decided to put a collar on it, um, lift it up, build it up, and then put one of those green domes. So they're supposed to be coming. And then um, I have my mower. I have my mower people, um, United Egg coming because silly me when I was mowing um, not last week but the week before it was a beautiful day and I needed to get out um, and I was in a hurry because it was the first week that my husband was home after his surgery but I had to get out um, I was feeling a little cooped up I ran over a tree stump, and boy, it not only rocked the my new mower, but it just kind of rocked my world. And so I didn't dare use it after that. And um, they got to come to make sure I didn't bend the frame or anything like that. So I'm waiting for them to come. So we have that, we have her. So I might use that one, or how's this one? This one might be a little bit better. I just wanna see what maybe I could put her like that because then that way this shows up a little bit better. And she's on the side here. <clears throat> and I don't want to use the black because this will, I think it's too much with her dress. So I am going to go with this one here. All right. Um, and I think I'm going to cut this out. I think this will look better.
and I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I'll, sometimes I don't like to cut the arms out because I don't like to see the crossword puzzle behind her. So I think I'm going to leave her just like that. Okay. Um, so I know I want this here. So I think we can get, I think we can get this down. Let me just make sure. I think I should put my writing in there first. Only for the fact that... So let's see. Okay, so we're going to get this in because I want to do Happy Halloween. And I just want to make... She's going to have to be positioned around that. So I want to put Happy here. and then Halloween. Okay, so there's Happy Halloween. Happy. Happy, happy. And I may have to move her over just a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get her head positioned there, and I'm going to do it with just a little... I'm going to get this down first. My husband and I went to the mall oh, probably a month ago to um, go to the movies. And we went into that spirited Halloween store. Oh my gosh. They had the best costumes in there. And I kept saying, oh, I want to be invited to a Halloween party. Because <laughs> I love dressing up. You know, for Halloween and, you know, things like that. Um, I just think it's so much fun. But they have to be fun and cute um, costumes. I don't like scary ugly masks and things like that. I don't don't like it. My son one year he brought home he and when they were in middle school. Um, they wanted to go as some freaky ghoulish thing and my son brought home a mask and it was clear. Um and it was really form-fitting to your face. It was scary. I And he wore that with a hoodie, and he had the hoodie up, and I did not like that at all. And I, I couldn't even I couldn't even look at him. Um, it was really scary. Okay, so we're going to put her there, and then I want to get, I think I want to get these little pumpkins down around here. I could put a little pumpkin there. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, I got to see if I can get this up. Yeah, I can. Oh, good. All right. So I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to take this hat and I want to get this hat on her. So I'm going to cut this. Um, right along here and hopefully I have enough room to get this hat on her. Silly me. Too busy gabbing. Okay, I gotta come down a little bit. Please, this art glitter glue, this is a touchy, touchy, touchy situation here. We'll get it on just like that. Okay. Woo! Say. Yeah, because I don't want to... I'll put it like that. All 
that was a little there okay Ooh, yay all right what else I better make sure that <laughs> I wanted to put I think I might put that up there I'm not going to use the spooky fun um, and this little bat That little thing wasn't there. I could give her little bat wings, but we're going to use the the pumpkins here, I think. Put that there like that. And then we can put Maybe this one down here like that. I want to put maybe the smaller one. I think I need to get her down first. Move her up a little bit. Then I could put this. I think I gotta bring that one over there. Maybe I won't even put that there. I'm having trouble. I want to put something down here. <laughs> Um, near her feet. Let's see if there's something else. Mm -hmm. Nothing really there. All right, well, I'm going to go with these. I'm going to make them work. Cut that off. I think this is my problem here. That'll be a little bit better. That, and then I'm going to put this one here, over here. I think that'll be cute. All right. So let's get her down here. And I'll get her dress down. Okay. Oh, and then we'll get this pumpkin. I think that I think that'll be fine there, just like that. I can put her down here. I feel like I'm all fumble fingers today. See, did you ever have one of those days? I think I need to get my tweezers out. I can't hold on to anything. I'm going to put that right there like that. And then we will hold on to this like that. The other thing I have to do is, um, since my husband's been home, he's been watching a lot of the news. Oh, and I can't, it's got me all nerved up. And that's very disturbing. I just... So... Okay. All right, so I think I am going to put, I'm going to put that little trick-or-treat up here, I think. I want to do the, um, oh, and then the other thing I want, before I forget, while it's on my mind, um, let's see. I want to write here, um, I want to write spooky. Um, and then I wanted to put in here, um, I'm 
might not be able to fit it. I wanted to put um, candy somewhere, but I don't have the right amount of boxes. So we're going to leave it at that. We're going to keep it at spooky and then happy Halloween. Um, I'll put the, I think I'll put the trick or treat there and then um, I'm going to take this bat and I think I'll put the bat Maybe I'll put the bat right there like that Yeah, I, I just can't. I can't deal with the news. It's just, it's scare. It all scares me. Um, I was going to get rid of our cable and just go with our Roku, but with my husband being laid up, um, he doesn't want me to get rid of it yet. So I go off and I do something. I try to stay positive. I'll tell you, I have dug back into my Bible. <laughs> at night and I've got a really nice book um, called Jesus Lives and there's some really nice um, things in there and I've been reading that <sighs> religiously when I get into bed at night and um, yeah I just I'm it's got me all unnerved so um, I don't know so there is that there and then we are going to work over here. I know this; these would be sideways, but I do like the idea of having... Um, I'm almost tempted if I put a photo in here. This might be kind of cute. If I... This is a little photo thing. If I add this to that, I cut it down and I put that in the middle. Um... And then I could add the 31 in solid paper underneath it. Maybe that's what I'll do. Um, and then that way I can put a cute little photo in there. So I'm going to want to cut this down first. Um, we'll do... We can do four and a quarter by three and a half. So let's do that. Four and a quarter. Oh, I guess that's on there, isn't it? See? What kind of day I'm having. And I gotta take this off. Okay. Four and a quarter. And what did I say? By three and a half? Yeah, three and a half. Quarter by three and a half. And I'm actually going to cut that down a little bit more to maybe three. I'll do three and a quarter. I don't want to take too much off, then I'll regret it. Okay, I think that's good. So we will get this on here. Maybe I can get a picture of the, the kids in their costumes this year from that party. Put that in there. That's the one thing that my mom never took of me when I had those silly little costumes on. Um, there was no Halloween pictures. There was Christmas and things like that, but never a Halloween. She probably figured that the costumes were so silly she didn't even want to go. She didn't even want a picture. So I think I want to do black. All right, let me go get a small piece of black paper so I can back... Um, 
this and then we will get this on there. All right, so I have black and I'm just going to cut a little tiny piece out here. Um, Can get that. I'm going to cut this down a little bit more because I don't want it over the end at all. Let's try it this way. Yep, there we go. All right, that's good. And that's a little tail from the 31. <laughs> Okay. All right. And then I'm going to put, I guess it doesn't really matter if it goes the top or the bottom. I'll put it on the bottom. All right. So we're going to get this on there. I just think these are so cute. We'll put that there like that. So that's all ready for a little photo. And then we will put this down underneath. This would be really cute um, on a scrapbook page. These little, and there's the 31. Okay. And then I'm going to get a little bit of maybe washi and just put, although the look polka dots are cute. That would keep it kind of light and it wouldn't take away from that. But let me try the washi first. Let's see here. Let us see. We have this one here. I have that one. And let's see, oh, I have a zigzag. That would be fun. And then I have the my favorite polka dots, which I'm running low on, which kind of makes me nervous. I just need a box, I need a whole like case of this. But this might be kind of fun because when you do a pumpkin mouth, you usually do zigzags, right? I could add a little bit of that. So I could take this and see if we can just, sometimes I don't like it when it rips really good like that. <laughs> see if we put it up a little bit. We could add that and we'll add this down here. There. Oh, I think that's cute. I think that's cute, and I think we'll call it week 20. So there you have it. That is this week's um, crossword puzzle collage. Spooky Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, I still want to put candy in there, because that's what it's all about, too. Candy, right? See? A N D Y. There we go. And candy. Um, yeah. Well, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this week's um, crossword puzzle collage. 
And I hope everybody who does go out, take their grandchildren out, or if you have little ones, um, stay safe, watch for cars, make sure you go through that candy really well. Um, have your own home in-house Halloween party. I think that's the safest thing to do these days. Um, it's gotten a little crazy out there. But I want everyone to have a really good time, have a safe time. Happy Halloween to everyone, and I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody, have a great day, and thanks for joining in. Bye-bye.